Hey there, it's Chelsea from Your Health Options and I wanted to run you through a very uh, hormone or so female, I'm talking about female sex hormones, um, balancing um, meal. So I often will have this for a breakfast or even a lunch. It's very filling because it's based on seeds. So of course there's lots of fiber in seeds, but specific seeds that I'm using that are really gonna help with female hormones in particular um, are linseeds, okay? So the, the lignans in linseeds actually help us um, to be able to process the um, metabolites of our estrogen production. So the metabolites of our estrogen production um, are like the end products, okay, of, of producing est estrogen, and then our liver, our lymphatic system, our circulatory system, our liver and our digestive system all work together to be able to get rid of those metabolites out of our body. We don't need them, they're a waste product. If we don't get rid of them, they can get recycled and they can contribute to estrogen dominant conditions such as um, endometriosis, PCOS, um, different types of estrogenic cancers. So I take like just usually a tablespoon of linseeds. Okay, I use a variety of seeds and I will, um, oh, I'll show you my little seed grinder. So this little seed grinder here, it's about $10, okay? okay? Um, if you're in Australia, that's from Kmart, which is a really, um, you know, inexpensive uh, place to shop. I like to use pepita or pumpkin seeds occasionally, so I will rotate them in and out based on, um, you know, because I can't often, I can't fit all of the seeds into the seed mix. It makes quite um, a, filling, a filling meal, as I say, because of all the fiber. So pumpkin seeds, not only are they full of a lot of the trace minerals that we are commonly deficient in, but um, they also can help with keeping uh, digestive anthelmintic control. What that means is um, keeping control, keeping the um, gut parasites in check. Okay, they're fantastic for that. Now, I like hemp seeds as well. I like the flavor as well as the GLA. Okay, so there's a lot of benefits of the gamma linolenic acid in the hemp seeds, there's a tablespoon of those going in, um, that help with, um, with skin health, with brain health, of course they're high in omega-3, which is really important to include in our diet, because we tend to be, as when I say we, I mean the, the average Western diet, the standard Western, Western diet, tends to be quite high in um, omega-6 and 9 fats, which are commonly found in plants and meat products, um, and we tend to be lesser uh, dominant or lesser, we have less amounts of the omega-3 in our body and so that throws that ratio off and it can cause inflammation in the body. So omega-3 not only is a great um, anti-inflammatory, um, it works on the um, COX pathway, so being able to directly reduce inflammation. Um, today I'm using some black sesame seeds. Now there's some great health benefits for these as well, including um, sugar balance, so the insulin balance in the body, which can keep, which can help us with weight maintenance as well. If you've got a little bit of sugar imbalance, you might notice you get, um, or insulin, insulin resistance is what it starts to be called out and then it becomes pre-diabetes and then diabetes. If you've got a bit of insulin resistance, you might crave sugars a lot um, or at certain times throughout the day that craving sugars can be a sign of that. Um, it, it's not always a sign of that, but it can be. Um, also, chia seeds, I love, um, again, omega-3. Um, there's loads of fiber in here, so this is really great because, as I said, the bowels are an important part of the detoxification system uh, to be able to eliminate all these estrogen metabolites that we can, um, that we need to, that we produce. We're producing them all the time because, you know, we are, and I'm not, when I say we, I don't just mean women because men produce estrogen as well. Um, we need to get rid of them, okay? So if our bowels aren't regular, and by regular, I mean going at least once a day, um, ideally two, um, then we're recycling those estrogens, okay? As I said, sunflower seeds, again, packed with a lot of the um, commonly deficient vitamins and minerals, particularly minerals, that were commonly deficient in, in our Western diet. So, gonna make a bit of noise as I, oh, helps if I turn it on at the wall. <laughs> Um, a bit of grinding dancing going on. I'm grinding up these things. I'll show you what it's like. So all around together. Okay, 
So this is what it looks like. It just looks like a meal. So you'll commonly find a meal. Um, you find them in the health food shops or um, you know wherever you're finding your seeds and things often in supermarkets if they're well stocked. When you're buying a meal um, of seeds, particularly those high in omega-3, so that's the linseeds and that's the chia seeds, um, hemp seeds, okay, if you're buying a meal, be, please be wary of the freshness of that omega-3. So omega-3 is very, very um, volatile oil and it's very fragile to heat and light. So if you're buying a meal and it's on the shelf, okay, um, chances are it's going to already be rancid. I encourage, like I said, this little machine, 10 bucks, okay? Um, now this is obviously taking me longer to do because I'm explaining the process to you, but usually this takes me five minutes, okay? This is either breakfast or lunch, um, or if I'm super hungry, even a, even a snack, um, if I've been really busy. Um, today it's a breakfast for me. So what I do is I pop that meal into a bowl. These meals, by the way, depending on what you use, so you can also use nuts and seed. I mean, sorry, nuts and seed. You can also use nuts in a, in, a, in a blender. I don't know, I've never tried it in this little blender, or this little grinder. This is actually just a coffee grinder um, to grind nuts in. Um, but I have a stronger blender and I've ground nuts in that. And these nuts and seed bases, depending on what your taste preference is, make a beautiful base. Um, for raw treats, so that's like raw cakes, raw slices, and those kind of things. They make a really great base for those. Um, it doesn't take much to make them sort of stick together. Sometimes if you just blend them with one or two dates, that gives them a nice binding activity, um, binds it all together really nicely. Okay, now what I pop with my seeds, it doesn't look very appetizing at the moment, so of course we eat with our eyes first. So I use an organic, um, natural yogurt so unsweetened okay so we don't want any extra sugar again the sugar um, affects our estrogen levels so I put a couple of um, tablespoons of yogurt natural yogurt on top of there um, yeah the sugar too much sugar of course we know the, the problems there with diabetes but also it can affect our estrogen levels negatively as well now um, Usually it's hard for me to find blueberries in my fridge because my daughter, my oldest daughter loves them and she nicks them before I get there. <laughs> but she hasn't mm, I'm sure managed to find them all. So before I eat them all, <laughs> I pop I pop a heap of them. I actually pop that whole lot. Um, so blueberries, so super healthy for us. Proanthocyanins. Um, the other phytochemicals that are present in there, um, in the blueberries as well, oh look, they've still got a stalk on it, um, to help with regulating our cholesterol, they help with antioxidant potential in our body, so of course oxidation happens as another metabolic process, like I was saying before about the estrogen production, um, and I also add whatever other, other fruit I've got in my fridge as well, so at the moment, um, I have some kiwi, Kiwi is what we call an enzymatic fruit. What that means is that it helps our digestion to work better. Okay, so there's some enzymes, some digestive enzymes that we can find in the kiwi um, that can actually help with our digestion. And you'll actually find a lot of digestive, digestive aids, um, you know, naturopathically. Some of the ingredients in those products will have, um, have kiwi flour in them. Um, which helps very much with digestion, motility of the bowel, very important, but just to help with absorbing the nutrients in your food. Now this looks much better, have a look. Beautiful, very appetizing, and that's a huge meal. There's so much fiber in there. If you don't have a really healthy bowel movement after eating all that fiber, um, then, then you need to uh, book in with a health professional because there's something else going on because there's a huge amount of fiber in there. So that's it, so that's my estrogen um, metabolite clearing, high fiber, snack, breakfast, dinner, whatever you want to call it.